Hi, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. Today we're going to be discussing configuring high availability on system platform. I have logged into the primary mid-size enterprise server's CDOM web interface and selected the server management high availability link. There are a few things worth noting on this screen. The HA status window provides the current state HA is in. The active server window shows a green icon and it is the only one active. Once the initial configuration is performed, the three additional interface icons, currently yellow, will indicate a green status. The status icons indicate the current state of the public interfaces and the crossover interfaces of the active standby server pair. The upper right corner shows the overall high availability status. From the high availability screen, the first step would be to press the configure HA button to go into the configuration dialog for the interface configuration. In the next HA configuration screen, the upper half of the Configure HA dialog indicates a protection mode for all the virtual machines, which is Fast Reboot, for the mid-size enterprise solution. The first administration step would be to enter the remote CDOM IP address. Accept Admin as remote CDOM username, enter the admin user's password, and accept the crossover cable network interface of Ethernet 2. The ping target can be changed to a different address if the default, which is a current network segment's default gateway, is not acceptable. The target is changed by selecting the checkbox and pressing either delete or edit as appropriate. The ping target has been changed to 135.122.76.206 in this example. I am now ready to start the system to configure the initial HA parameters, so I will push the Create button to initiate that configuration. This could be a few minutes to confirm the connectivity to the interface and establish the basic connections in preparation for the next step of starting the distributed replicated block device DRBD replication. I'll continue after the initial configuration completes. You can see that the four icons are now green. IP addresses have been established for the crossover link which are a derivative of the domain zero IP addresses of each server. Observe the HA status field in the upper right corner which now shows preferred node configured stopped. Also note that the status shows the domain that HA is configured for in the upper left of the main window. The system is now ready to start the HA synchronization process. That process is started by pushing the Start HA button. This is what I have now performed. Address the dialog to continue. The DRBD protocol will duplicate the active server's virtual disk via the crossover cable to the standby server. The transfer rate of the data is shown in the bottom left of the screen as each device is transferred. As each device is successfully transferred, the status indicator turns from red to green. After a period of time, the DRBD process has completed the data transfer is showing all green indicators for each device that was transferred. The HA status indicator is now showing running and the server pair is protected. 
Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.